<laughs> Hi. So welcome, Patty. Yeah. Hi. Uh, you're the founder from Spock. Uh, in the B2C or the peer-to-peer, as you always say, uh, marketplace. Um, you founded it together with Amin. Um, what was the first idea? So the first idea was to, to provide users with a free platform where they can easily sell their own used things and discover new things in their area just by browsing through in a very lovely way. and and. We wanted to bring this experience to their mobile phones um, just right into their pocket. And it turned out um, to be then one of the the biggest and fastest growing mobile first marketplaces in Europe and in the world. Wow, that's amazing. So when was it? Um, So Spock, we we launched in autumn 2012. Wow. And and it's still still ongoing. And I I remember it, it, it was the first marketplace, not just mobile, but with really local content, yeah. So you, this was one of the one of the assets from this from this marketplace that you are uh, able to find, so to say, the the stuff around you, no? Yes. So, so it, it's it was a bit like window shopping in your neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you, when you opened the app, you first saw the products just around the corner, and when you brought through, the further they got away. So it was really like discovering what's out there. And if you found something, you just interact with the user in the app um, directly and just go over it if it's near or if it's further away, items that ship. And so and so this was really the, the idea from the beginning. But so, I know mm-hmm. there was the loop before. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this was the idea for Spock from the beginning, but the yeah. company started out with something different. It's finally, uh, yeah. it was a social product recommendation platform for consumer electronics, where users um, get recommendations, personal recommendations for what's the right notebook for them or the right visual art com- camera without having a vast technical knowledge. Yeah. And what was, because, you know, today, uh, lots of our startups, uh, they have to promote their, their products. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What did this work out? Was it like you said it's not working, or maybe we have an, now a better idea, or how was this process? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I think to, to put it down, this kind of the sparkles were missing at some point. So mm-hmm. um, it was the, the the platform was growing in, in a decent way, and uh, with marketing, we could have easily reached the goals we also. Um, set with our investors back then. But for us, it was like, there was something missing. Um, some, uh, somehow these sparkles where users are really getting fully into it. And, and, and we have to resolve that we would personally expect if we were doing something. So we knew we, we, we should do something different. And, yeah. and then also found out that from the, it was finally we, we developed, um, everything in a way up front so we made a big plan up front and we developed the platform for eight months i mean startup time that's quite a lot of time um, yeah. and then when we went on the market we found out that there were people were using out of the 10 features just five features and five others were missing mm-hmm. but for you as a founder it was more a gut feeling to change mm-hmm. the product yeah it was i think it was looking at the, at the user behavior and not being satisfied ourselves and okay. not being satisfied with, yes, we can fulfill the, the, the milestones we set with the investors. That was not enough for us. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't want to go this path. We wanted to do something that really has an impact, that has a big impact, that has a big meaning. So um, what was there any kind of person or another startup or maybe an investor or <laughs> somebody who really inspired you to do this? Yeah. Hmm. I think there are a couple of things. Um, so the first is with our first ideas, Armin and I inspired us. The sec- second thing was product-wise, like the old schoolness um, from, from the existing platforms, which just yes, left so much room to do something better and to provide the user with a better solution. Then personally thinking, I, I did my PhD thesis in the area of crowdsourcing. Um, and while doing my research there, I also came across a lot of business models that use um, 
user innovation. So that included users in the product development process. Mm -hmm. And there I saw a lot of business businesses and were quite impressed how they build up their, their businesses. And I think another thing that somehow inspired me or kind of made for me personally this tipping point, this tipping point was um I actually I always had a lot of ideas. Um, mm -hmm. how to make things better, how to improve yeah. things. Yeah. Um, but I never wanted to, to have my own company mm -hmm. to go this path. As a new, it's, it's, it's very hard to do. Um, and the chances that you succeed are very low, but yeah. still I always had those ideas. And then I once came across a, a lecture at the university where founders, um, and, um, top managers were talking about uh, from their snake has you know, seen, as you would yeah. say. So they're really talking, they're telling their personal stories, sure. their life stories and how they ended up where they are. Yeah. And that was a moment where I realized it's hard to do something on your own, but it's not impossible. And understanding this, that it's not impossible, um, made for me this, this switch where I said, okay, let's fuck it, just try it. Um, how would you define success in this journey? Is it really the, the little stories from, from the customers and um, you've been market leader in many markets in UK, in, in the Dach region? Yeah. What was your success? Hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a very broad question for me in a way. So I think success in general for me is making something with impact. Mm. success in this way is to to having been able with, with this great team to 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 build something outstanding um mm -hmm. and in a more technical thing i think it's it's setting your goals um adjusting them if it's the best strategy to to adjust them um, and then fulfilling or overachieving them so what was the most important thing in the product was it the the the, the content the local content the other users ui ux what what was the most important thing yeah it's, i i know it's hard to say mm -hmm. yeah, it's mm -hmm. always a good mixture of it maybe if you would say it now i think actually all three of of those things that that you mentioned so That the product, the UI UX, it was so easy. It mm. was I remember instantly. Yeah. Yes, you remember. Yeah. Just take it out, picture, and and it's out. Yeah, just love, love the way to browse through. Um, that was one of the things. So, yeah. so you, you, the user didn't have to think. You can just use the product in, yeah. in a very easy way. Um, then the the localness. Yeah, that you, that you have those close connections. That you saw things. That it was an, an experience to to browse through. And in the end, the third thing was the community. So I, I remember users in, in, from the beginning telling us when they, they, they browsed through the app and uh, one girl was telling me that she was looking for a snowboard for herself. Yeah. And then um, her boyfriend asked her, hey, can you also find me one? So found yeah. another one. <laughs> and then a friend of theirs um, asked her again, hey, can you please find me also one? So she got three snowboards in the end. And while this... I think she got a couple of handbags and some other stuff yeah. because she just uh, found them there. Yeah. Or yeah. Some other users who told us, one, one, one guy told us um, he was buying uh, drums mm -hmm. um, on, on the platform and he picked it up from, from another user and they, they got into, 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 into a discussion. And in the end, they, they started a chat session. So they were sitting together and playing <laughs> together for a couple of hours. And then... And there are so many such just lovely stories that came that happened there over, over the years, over the yeah. time, um, that really made made it made second hand selling a bit of a different, it gave yeah. it a bit of a different flavor. 